Hello, this is John Guilan, and I'll be reviewing the Japanese anime film In This Corner of the World. As a writer of fiction, among the many artistic sources that I've learned from and drawn upon for inspiration over the years has been anime. Throughout much of the United States and the West, animation has come to be viewed as an art form aimed primarily at a childhood audience. The term cartoon has become synonymous with children's entertainment. This is not true, however, in all parts of the world. Although much of Japanese animation is also aimed at children, this is not necessarily true. Anime has come to be respected as an art form in Japan, as a medium for conveying mature ideas and themes, in a way that it has not been respected throughout much of the United States and the West. And this is where the connection between Japanese anime and my own interests in writing fantasy fiction lie, in exercising an art form that allows its creators to explore real-world themes in an alternative environment. As an example of this, I will be reviewing in this corner of the world a 2016 animated film following the experiences of a young woman living in Japan during World War II. There is nothing fantasy-related in a film such as this. This is a serious drama tackling a very serious subject. This is a movie and theme that could very easily have been produced as a live-action motion picture, but it wasn't. The writers, directors, and producers chose to make this an animated film for a very real reason. The hand-drawn animation of the film is beautifully rendered, its characters lovingly developed, and it is this charm that the movie's producers and directors were aiming for. The beauty of the animation is disarming, luring the audience in, allowing the viewers to get closer to the characters and events than might otherwise have been possible in a more conventional live-action film. This was a story that was told as an animated motion picture because it needed to be told as an animated motion picture. The animation allowed the creators of this film to do things and to tell this story in a way that could not have been possible otherwise, to bring the message of this story home to a wider audience. The movie tells the story of World War II Japan. It is seen through the eyes of a young woman named Suzu. It begins with Suzu as a schoolgirl during the pre-war years, a kind-hearted adolescent who loves to paint and draw. As the war sets in, she is pressed into an arranged marriage. Auntie said I can turn him down if I want to, but I don't even know anything about him yet. Suzu moves to live with her new family in the coastal city of Kure, a town where the Second World War unfurls all around her in the years that follow. It is through her eyes that the horror and futility of war is understood in a manner that would have been too heartrending for an audience to sit through in a live-action drama. Suzu matures, learns, laughs, and mourns, as the world around her disintegrates amid the chaos of war. The movie depicts in meticulous detail everyday life in wartime Japan, from the food rations, to the raids of U.S. bombers, to the destruction of buildings, neighborhoods, and lives, during a war that mystified many of those who lived through it. The directors of this film went to painstaking lengths to reproduce the images and events depicted, utilizing old photographs and interviewing elderly Japanese citizens who lived through that era to provide a vivid recounting of wartime life. Suzu enters the film as an adolescent teen, just entering womanhood. She leaves the film bearing the scars of a pointless war that left only death and devastation in its wake. Yet the message of the film is not one of hopelessness. Throughout it all, life goes on, even after sorrow and loss. Suzu must find in herself the strength to move forward and continue living. This was a serious subject, and was respected as such when it was released in Japan. In this corner of the world won numerous awards, not only in the animated film category, but also repeatedly beating out live-action films for awards and accolades. It was repeatedly awarded in both Best Film and Best Director categories across a variety of Japanese film festivals and award events. It is in this way that anime has been an inspiration for me as a writer of fantasy fiction. It is not merely the ability for animation to transport us to fantastical worlds, but more importantly, in its ability to convey serious topics in a manner that might not otherwise be possible. If you haven't seen In This Corner of the World, I would highly recommend the film. For lovers of drama and animation alike, by all warn viewers, this is not a movie intended for young children. It is a drama that takes on themes where live-action movies often fear to tread.